Coach Fox when you come out. Be part of the Marvel Coach Team. So it's a pleasure to have you here and also a pleasure to be the head coach of Washington High School. Yes, sir. Thank you, Coach. All right. First of all, thank you, Coach Falls, for letting me be a part of this event, the inaugural coaching clinic here at Grand State University. Uh, it's always a, a pause when you have a chance to come on and speak at your home, your home area. Coach Falls is a home guy. He's from Moore, Louisiana. Today, I've been to numerous clinics. I'm a young man in the coaching game. But it's a part of coaching that we almost tend to miss out. We know all about the X and O's, and the coach had a great presentation this morning about the power running game and the blitz, and that's great. You saw great players on spin. You saw the running back break tap, I mean break runs. You saw the the, court, the linebacker make these plays. But what happens next? Now that college coach just saw that thing. It's time to get recruited. And just like myself, I graduated in 2000 from high school, so I'm sure pretty probably the young guys in the room. We didn't have cell phones. What's the next slide? <clears throat> We didn't have cell phones in high school, and that was in 99, 98. We may have had a cell phone, but most people know you had a cell phone, your data package. I mean, if you went by some of your megabytes, I mean, you were going to build 200 bucks, 300 bucks, uh, text message calls like per cent uh, per text message. So this day and age, the car recruiting and the kids using social media, it's very important to understand where your players are going with social media. How does it affect your program? How does it affect how recruiters look at your players? Can the kid get recruited? Can they not get recruited? Did that tweet hurt? And this is something I have, a cartoon I found. <clears throat> and in kind of this is how our lives kind of pretty much work. The cell phone, he tells us to check my emails, uh, check my GPS, how do I get to this place, send this photo, uh, ask my location. But what really is going on is that cell phone controls our life. That cell phone wants you to find me Wi Fi. We know right now. I can't, I got to get some Wi-Fi, I'll email you back, I'll pull something up. Or you know right now, uh, answer that phone. So the cell phone has become a tool of the modern day world and that's flipped over to our, our younger generation and our kids. Let's start from the coach. The first aspect of social media, we have three main brands we use, our kids use and college coaches use and, and, and finally the kids, Twitter. Uh, yes, you can use 140 character message. They call it tweets. You a lot of time you tweet, hashtags, different logos, and that's been a mark for a lot of people. Exactly, and what's important now? Uh, we we take everything. We first of all focus on the goal, which is the end result. But then after that, then we take it objectively in increments. Uh, it, we, we talk about making sure you get up in the morning on time, making sure you brush your teeth, making sure that you eat quality breakfast, making sure you go to class, you sit on the front row, you ask a question after you leave the class. And we all know why you have to ask a question, because we want to make sure that that teacher knows you just in case you get in the bind one day. Uh, so we just talk about all those basic things, uh, because we firmly believe here at Grand State University, if you do those little things more times than not, if you win over and over and over for, for my son. So the basis of everything that we designed and created here at Grambling State University was uh, actually done with those two questions in mind. Um, from grassroots, we got together after that. The next thing was to make sure uh, that we hired quality coaches. Um, we, uh, we went all over the place trying to find coaches. Uh, Coach Everett Todd uh, from UL Monroe, uh, Coach uh, Eric Dooley, uh, who's from Arkansas Pine Bluff, who played here, but also was at Southern. Uh, Mickey Joseph, uh, Lee Fobbs, uh, Reggie Nelson, all these guys are great family men and parents. And I wanted to make sure that I surrounded myself with guys that not only could, could take this thing over and, uh, and run the whole operation, but also, too, they understood how to treat young people. Uh, because at the end of the day, that's why we're here. And also Terrence Graves. I don't want to forget Coach Graves. He'll, he'll say something about me if I don't mention his name. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh...